strange situation with Anthony last, last week. Can you clear it up as to why he wasn't on the bench or anything? Um, well, not, not really. I mean, it's, I've said before, it, it was my intention to, if I felt it was appropriate, to, to give Jack some, some game time. That's what I did. Um, obviously, told Lasmir and a number of other players that weren't involved uh, in the starting 11. Um, and that was the situation, really. Um, he wasn't involved because, obviously, he felt he should have been, and uh, he just felt his mind wasn't focused to, to be on the bench, which I understood, to be perfectly honest. So I, I was uh, I was okay with that, um, and that's where we are with it. Do we take it that Jack's going to be the number one here from now on? No, well, people misinterpreted this. M maybe uh, it needs a bit of clarification. I, I've just said I wanted to give him some game time, and my intention was to to give him a away game. We got four games. Well, we had four games left. If we uh, well, from my point of view, I wanted to give Jack an away game and a home game. That's the intention. He's going to play tomorrow as well. Uh, as he's not available uh, because he's just had a slight procedure that he's taken advantage of because obviously he knew he wasn't playing this weekend. So you'll be back uh, fit and well next week. So uh, I'll take a view on the last two games. He's a target for a couple of clubs, I mean, notably Liverpool, Tottenham. Uh, do, you, do you see that he will go in the summer? We hope not. Nothing's changed from from our point of view. I've given uh, a promising young keeper that we think highly of a, a game. You get another game, and that's that's it. It's part of his development. Uh, it's still our intention that Asmir stays here. That's that's what we want to happen. Um, whether or not that's changed other people's view of the situation, I don't know. But um, from our point of view, it's uh, it's as we were. Okay, I'll take that on board. But let's just say if. You're talking about right? hypothetical things now, well, are you? If, if Jack was, were to start as your number one next season, is he good enough and you, would you be happy with that? Are you comfortable? Well, that's if, but some maybes, isn't it? I mean, our intention is, is that as <laughs> is, is that as me stays. We, we don't know if that's going to be the case at the moment, that's fair to say, because the, those talks were, were always scheduled for, for the end of the season. So until those actually take place, then uh, we don't really know. We hope. That he will be. If if Asmi stays, then uh, we'll continue to look to develop Jack, and the likelihood is that he probably would go out on loan again. But that would be dependent on whether or not we felt it was the right club available. If not, then he would remain here and, and continue to push push Asmi. Did you say that Jack would have liked to have gone on, on loan from January, really? Oh, no. No, no. Our intention was that he uh, comes back and. Uh, uh, was number number two to Asmi. Uh, he'd been out on loan already, so we, we thought that was that was long enough for him. And it was, it was time to obviously come here and work day in day out with the guys here, and that's what he's done. So who's in? Who's out this this weekend? And who's injured? And who's um, dropped? Well, well, you just did <laughs> what I've just said. Uh, Asmi's not available. Um, apart from that, uh, only the long term. Injuries, as far as I'm aware, um, yeah, that's about it. Ask me about your uh, opposition. What do you think he's done with Tottenham in his first year? Yeah, well, it seems that um, you can see signs of of the way he wants to play. I think initially it uh, um, there didn't seem to be too much change in terms of approach to game. So it takes time, obviously, to to change the the mentality of the group that you work with. But uh, certainly now. I think everybody feels that uh, the Spurs manager wants to play a pressing game and he wants to press from the front and you, you can actually see that in the, in the games that they played, uh, certainly from the turn of the year. So you can see that the work that he's doing on the training ground is having an effect um, and he's shaping the team in his own image. So uh, that takes time, it uh, doesn't happen overnight as I well know. So uh, um, I think when he, obviously, uh, the opportunity maybe to to go into the market again, maybe get the key personnel that he feels he needs, then um, then they'll continue to progress. I'm sure. Have you been as impressed with Harry Kane as ever been this season? I mean, yeah, he's a good player. player. I mean, he's he's an outstanding young player, and, and credit to him. I think people maybe I hadn't seen a great deal of him obviously before he broke in, but uh, prior to that, maybe people were questioning whether or not he 
they felt they or he had the the ability to to have the impact that he has but he's he's proved a lot of people wrong by all accounts um, I've just judged him on what I've seen in the games he's played at Premier League level and he's acquitted himself really really well uh, to score the fir the amount of goals that he scored in the first first year of uh, of his career in terms of full season I think it's quite exceptional and and as a young player if you if you're going to progress if you're going to be a top player you have to you have to make an impression straight away uh, because it's the Premier League is a high standard. Uh, the bar's set really high if you want to go straight in from from being a young player straight into a, the first eleven of a Premier League team. It's it's a big ask for young players these days. So he's done really, really well. It makes for an enormous second season, doesn't it, next year? Because he's got a lot to live up to. Is that the danger? Well, there, there is. Um, I think historically, uh, people always look to the second season thinking it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, when you break through initially, you, you get by a, a little bit of adrenaline, a little bit of the unknown quantity. You, people don't quite know what your strengths, weaknesses are. Um, obviously, after the first year, everybody knows exactly what, what you can or can't, uh, or how you can affect games. So uh, that knowledge obviously is, uh, is a test in that second season because people will make it a lot more difficult for you because they know more of you. Um, but your sense, he's got a good attitude. He looks looks a good kid. Um, somebody who wants to progress, keep on progressing. And if his worth, work ethic and his mentality is is what I was just suspect it is, then he's got every chance of having, having a great career. Just finally, uh, Pochettino said that he, he welcomed Gareth Bale back, after having received a lot of criticism this weekend. You will have seen his development come through from from a Welsh uh, Welsh perspective and also from playing abroad. Did, do you think he was worthy of that criticism this week? Um, well, if we're honest, he's probably honest with himself. He probably would have liked to have affected the game um, more than he was able to. But you have to factor the opposition into that. Uh, he wasn't playing a poor team on the night, so they, they would have obviously uh, talked about Gareth Bale and and what potential he had to to hurt them in in an attacking sense. So they would have led, uh, uh, understood that and and done something about it. And, and sometimes you. Have, you have to credit the opposition with, with doing a job on on players sometimes, and I think that maybe is the case. Um, notwithstanding that, he's an outstanding player, and uh, and he's proven it over over a long period now, both here and and in Spain. He had an outstanding season last year. He's coming for a little bit of criticism from people who watch him week in week out, but uh, that's part of the course at, at Real Madrid. So uh, I'm sure he's used to it by now, and. Uh, just a case of keeping your focus and getting to the end of the season and see where that takes you. I don't. Um, I've said that before. Um, I've experienced myself of, of playing abroad and probably went with the wrong attitude, with with the attitude of maybe saying to myself, uh, well, I'll do it for a year, maybe two years, and then I'll get myself back home, which is completely the wrong way to approach it. And I think uh, Gareth has got every intention to stay out as long as he can, I, I would recommend that he does because uh, I think uh, you can shape yourself as a person and as a player the longer you stay out. Um, if you're like at a club like Real Madrid or Barcelona like I was, then you you stay there until they kick you out the door, in my view. Okay. Thank you a lot, folks. All done. Thank you very much. Chat.